Welcome to an extremely special edition of Beer yeah. Sweden Television, beamed to you all the way from the south of France and the small village of Savignac du Duras. And I'm here with a rather special chap, beer expert extraordinaire. I'm trying to flip this thing. How do we do it? Uh, so that you can see him. Uh, one second, please. Yes, and some of you may have <laughs> some of you may recognise this chap from previous Beer Sweden television episodes. Uh, it is my father, how I'm going to look in 20 years time. Quite it's frightening actually if you think about it. And so we're going to flip the, um, hello by the way, Brian Packman, 70 year old. I, am, I, am I? You're on. Oh, <laughs> I'll, be, I'll be on Trev. I'll no, on. Trev's not here. Trev, I'll no, be see, on. This is the thing. I, be, I'm taking... little red light going? Yeah, red light's going. Okay. I am effectively Trev for the next two or three minutes okay. and what we want to do Trev. we want to do uh, what we want to do you can't see a thing with those on can no. you uh, what we want to do is that got lots um, of glasses. Mm, we want to um, do a very quick okay so three. remember extremely that quick. extremely quick beer review uh, I have a bottle of Orval yes here that you'll see here mm, that we managed to pick up from a local supermarket and I wanted my father to try it because of course Orval is considered one of the most um, interesting complex thank you father yeah very nice very nice uh, branding there. Uh, it, uh, one of the most complex interesting that's red wine lovely mm. um uh, trappist beers um that's out there and i just really wanted you to try and get a little sense of um uh, the beer itself and of course how well it'll go with some of the cheese we've had some amazing cheeses can you go through the cheeses actually mr cheese Patman? cheese Cheese, cheese, and yet another cheese. Okay, and bread, which is um, a special local bread from mm. made from maize, mm. Uh, mm. which is very very pleasant. Okay, and here we have um, Orville. <laughs> Orville. Orville. And listen, I just want to tell the people a little story about this because it's a wonderful story. If you can see here, look, can you see the trout with a ring on its nose? Mm. The idea, I think, the story goes something like there was a was it a you wouldn't know, would you? I have no idea. No. I think it was, a, it was a, it was a princess that was basically walking along beside a lake, dropped her favourite ring into the water, uh, and then promised God that if she could ever find the ring again, that she would actually... Are you, are you sticking with me here? What are you doing? Yeah, I'm with, no, I'm with you, yeah. Uh, no. Well, I don't like that. Uh, um, that if she ever found the ring again, that she would actually uh, uh, found a monastery on the site, and, and, and then a, a, a trout, Rose. Rose. Like this. Rose. Rose out of the, the water, trout. like this, like trouts do, with the ring on its finger. Nose, no, on its, on its, on its sorry, on its nose. They don't have fingers, do they, trouts? Rose on its nose. And and uh, and and that was that. So that's that's apparently how the uh, monastery, the white one, uh, how the monastery was formed. Anyway, um, let's, let's cut, cut all that out, um, Mr. Pam. What do you think about all that? Let's pick it up. I want to see a serious attempt at reviewing it properly. Well, okay, uh, this is Orville. It's Orval. And I have to tell you, it's a, it's a. It's a nice bottle. It's a, well, I'm not so sure. I, I think it's really rather gaudy, the label. Hmm. But taking that aside, we're trying to drink it here in the sun. Hmm. And it smells like lanolin. <laughs> like what? Lanolin. <laughs> That's and the it, stuff they make soap out of, isn't yeah, it? Exactly. Yeah, exactly. And, and when you drink it, hmm. it tastes... Like lanolin. <laughs> No, I think it's quite unfortunate that we, we're having to do this one because normally I like beer, I really do, I like loads of it. <laughs> and uh, in, in truth, it, I like drinking it in great quantities. But here we have something which, in truth, I'm going to leave for someone else to drink. Can you? Uh, so, excuse me, we've got you, a green frog. We've got a green frog. frog. Hang on a minute, everyone. Look, we've got to come over here and try and find a frog. There's a frog here somewhere. Where is it? We, anyway, we'll go back to this very interesting yeah. beer review. Actually, so you're saying what you're saying then? What I'm really yeah, saying, I'm, I'm here, really, though. what I'm really, really saying is, no, with, uh, thank you, because I think the tree frog would probably enjoy this, uh, but it's not for me. 
I mean, I'm sure there's other people who drank uh, Orville's. Orval. And, and his as well. Mm. Uh, uh, on the many occasions, and it's right. And I love the story about the trout, you know, with the. Uh, but what well, you're the, saying the taste is soapy. I, th I, th I just Citrus? It's, spicy? It's, it's, it's thick. It's a thick taste, you know. It's not. And it's not conducive to sunny, hot, what, sunny weather. What would you drink Orval with? Um, red wine. So, in terms of rating, then, I almost feel frightened to ask. Well, on a scale of one to five... I'm, I'm going to be very unkind here. Mm. In, on a one to five, I mean, it's obviously a very famous Yes, uh, stuff. it is. It is. But that doesn't, um, that doesn't matter. You, tell um, it, you shoot from the hip. For tell me, it. I would, you know, I would never drink it again. Okay. So, so that's got to be... It's got to be three, because it's obviously good. Yeah. Somewhere in the world. Okay, but not, but not here at this table. On a sunny day today, when we've just drank a bottle of Bordeaux, and you've just, um, by the way, you've just drank a bottle of. Uh, I didn't drink it, everyone. Oh, I just, sorry. I just been polite. And um, and all the rest of it. And mm. I have to say, Wells and Twells. No, what was it? <laughs> it's beers and cheers, father. It's cheers and beers and cheese and everything. <laughs> and. Uh, now,